bricks. You'd be amazed on if you're using bricks. I, I oftentimes I make videos with you know brick making and all the stuff about you know how to get brick to bump out, how to brick to be diffused. But really, why did I choose bricks? Because bricks have a set size and they're scaled. They have a real world dimension. That's why. If I was to choose boulders or rocks, they come in a multitude of sizes. If I look at texture as far as a wallpaper goes, I would never be able to understand that in relation to something. Bricks are bricks, and bricks have sizes. And here, I found bricks in meters. Okay, so actually they're in millimeters. because That would be an awful big brick. So the standard brick size, let's say... It's uh, 257 meters, millimeters, uh, 90. And I'm going to take and copy this image so I don't have to keep being here. I want to be in Photoshop. So here's the thing. What I want to do is make a texture that makes sense. And I want to be able to relate it to something I know. All right. First off, I know it's going to be meters for my bricks so how do I handle meters to centimeters and all that good stuff I'm not I'm going to actually go to inches and I'm going to say well pixels first sorry pixels and I'm going to say 1024 by 1024 then I'm going to say RGB color and hit OK all right now, I have my character size, it's roughly three meters tall, okay? And I have this cool thing that I'm gonna paste in. This is my brick. So how big is a brick gonna be here now? I'm gonna show my rulers. And I'm gonna go in here and drop this to centimeters. So now I have to think, how many centimeters are in a meter? Or a millimeter for that example. So maybe I, maybe I should choose millimeters because that is what my brick is. Just, just common logic thinking here. All right, so what we got here is a brick. I'm going to drag this to the corner. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to say a brick is... Taking this tool and going to a fixed size, and I'm going to say the width of a brick is 257 millimeters. And the height of a brick is 79 millimeters. And then I'm going to click, and I'm going to get a brick. Okay. Okay. So that is one brick in meters, corresponding to millimeters. All right, now let's let's see if that's true or not. What I'm going to do is just fill in this with a red, and then import it back into Unity and find out how big this is. One box. And I'll save as. It looks like it accepts PSDs just fine. So I'm going to save it in PSD format, which is awful rare for any engine to accept PSDs. And I definitely don't want to keep running off PSDs later on. I'll probably want to turn those to JPEGs or something a little bit more... Um, memory friendly usually lossless commit like tgas or tiffs are more memory friendly than jpegs because jpegs are lossy which is a compression so i'm diverging and i'm trying to figure out where the heck am i going to save this all right so assets and objects i'm going to save this right with the object that way i know where it's at and i'm going to call it brick All right, so if that's a brick, I should be able to now go into the editor. 
And I should be able to say, all right, that's a brick. Here's my object somewhere floating out here. There's a brick. I should be able to drag that on there. Hit play and see what happens. It's a big brick, but regardless of what, it looks about right. I would make it a little bit smaller maybe, but it's a good little brick. Now, here's the key. Stupid birds, yeah. Now it's a big brick. Um, is that the standard brick? Okay, modular is standard. So that's max. Here's modular. All right, so I had to look up, here's big bricks corresponding to non-big bricks and what happens. Now that's just telling me that there's a lot of brick sizes, but what's important is I went in and I figured out how to make the size of the brick corresponding to real world and this is what a max brick in looks like Ontario would be. Now what about UVs? So in the next video we're gonna look at something really small and importing it into the engine uh, with a lot of bricks and find out about UVs and how they work within the engine.